What's up guys and welcome to a brand new Blu-ray and 4K update video where today I'll be talking about the latest additions to my collection and uh, we're going to start out as always with the 4K Blu-rays in alphabetical order moving on to the Blu-rays in alphabetical order. Uh, we have a bunch here so let's just get started. Uh, some of these I just picked up today, yesterday, uh, the last few days in general, or weeks, uh, since I uh, posted the last Blu-ray update video on the channel. So, like I said, starting out with the 4Ks, we are going to start with an Edgar Wright film that I owned on Blu-ray, and I finally own on 4K Blu-ray. I'm excited to watch this. It is Baby Driver. Now, I have seen this film before, but I'm excited to see it on 4K Blu-ray. It's, it's a definition. I haven't seen this movie yet. Um... You know, so I really thought the movie was good when it came out. I didn't love it. I thought it was fine. But it is a nice movie to own in the collection. My favorite uh, Edgar Wright movie is probably either Shaun of the Dead or The World's End, probably. It's hard for me to choose between those two. But uh, Baby Driver, good little movie. And, uh, yeah, just picked that up. Next up is one I just also picked up. It was only $10 on 4K Blu-ray. I made an impulse buy of a movie that I don't think is the greatest, but I think has its moments, and it is just kind of stupid. And uh, it is Baywatch, the Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Zac Efron beach movie. Uh, like I said, not great, but I currently have it on the TV right now, and the picture quality to this is really outstanding. Uh, one of the, the better 4K Blu-rays I have, and actually, you know, uh, Paramount, they, they don't really seem to impress a lot of the time. Uh, sometimes they do, sometimes they, they don't. It's a hit and miss with them sometimes, but this, it's a hit, definitely a hit, and uh, yeah, going to keep on watching that. Uh, next up is a newer release to 4K Blu-ray. It is a steelbook, a Spike Lee joint, Do the Right Thing, a really nice target steelbook here exclusive steelbook um you know have to watch this haven't watched it yet but really looking forward to it um really like the artwork on this so uh yeah and luckily no problems with the steelbook it's uh really good condition here next up is another steelbook i picked this up from target this was a blu-ray dvd steelbook which i've upgraded to a 4k blu-ray steelbook it's E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Uh, I've been looking at this steelbook on the Groove website for a little while now. Finally found it at Target. So, like I said, I've upgraded this to a 4K steelbook, so I popped the 4K disc and the Blu-ray disc in the back there. So, uh, really nice to have this E.T. steelbook. Uh, next up is a standard 4K Blu-ray here. It's a movie I've owned on 4K maybe twice. I've sold it, rebought it, sold it, rebought it. And uh, here we go. I've rebought it again. And it is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I do actually like this movie. Uh, the second one, not as much, but if it comes up at a reasonable price, maybe I'll pick it up on 4K eventually. But um, yeah, I think it's all right, you know. And um yeah, we're going to leave it at that. <laughs> and uh, next up is something that you'll judge me on, and uh, I understand. But um, it is a new Target exclusive steelbook. It's a three-movie collection. Uh, things are going to get quite uh, kinky when you do this marathon. It is the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. The Fifty Shades trilogy. Why did I buy this? Uh, another impulse buy, really. Uh, you know. They're stacked discs, sort of like how the Jurassic World steelbook are stacked discs. You have one, two, and three. One, two, and three, they're all stacked. Um, I haven't even watched them again. Maybe I won't ever do that. Maybe I will. Who knows? But uh, we all get in interesting moods sometimes. Uh, and the final 4K Blu-ray here is a film that I owned already. I've upgraded to a 4K steelbook. It's one of the best, if not the best, movies of last year. It's The Invisible Man. Uh, I've wanted to pick up this steelbook when I saw it at Best Buy when it first came out, but I just never got around to doing it until now. Uh, and I'm really happy I did. I really like the artwork on this. Um, 
Elizabeth Moss is fantastic in this movie. She's really going to get snubbed everywhere uh, at awards season. She has been already, you know, because why, you know, let's do the three trifecta snubs for movies like this. We, we snub uh, Tony Collette for Hereditary. We'll snub Lupita Nyong'o for Us. And now we'll slub, nub Elizabeth Moss for The Invisible Man. No making a ba ba ba. Moving on to the Blu rays. Let me speak English here for a second. Um, Let's talk about the Blu rays. Not as many here, but there are a few, starting with one that was kind of another impulse buy. Um, Maybe I want to watch this again at some point. Who knows? But it is Bombshell. Uh, pretty heavy uh, awards contender, sort of uh, last year's Oscars, I believe, two years ago, something like that. But um, not not a bad movie, not a great movie. I didn't love it, but you know, I think I paid like ten bucks for it, so I will give it a rewatch eventually. Uh, the newest release here uh, is a film that I actually just watched today. Uh, I just got done watching it a few hours ago. Uh, and really enjoyed it, and um, I'm happy that I bought it, and it is a little movie called Freaky. It is the uh, Vince Vaughn, Catherine Newton, Blumhouse horror comedy uh, from the writer-director of the Happy Death Day movies, so if you like those, it's kind of the same tone, same feel, and, uh, you know, really solid movie. I had a very fun time with this Uh I watched it with a friend. He actually liked it enough to where we went to Walmart. He bought his copy uh, for himself, gave me the digital copy code. So, yeah, that's right. I will have two digital copy codes for Freaky to give away this coming Wednesday during the live show. So definitely come on over and check that out. Uh, Next up is a six-time Academy Award-nominated film in 2016, including Best Picture, uh, Nicole Kidman, Dev Patel, and Lion haven't seen it since I watched it in the theater. Really looking forward to rewatching this. I saw it on the shelf at FYE and I said, wow, you know, I, I you know, haven't really thought about this movie. It kind of just flew under the radar after it came out and after, uh, you know, the award seasons and everything. Nicole Kidman was getting nominated all the time. Dev Patel was getting nominated all the time and really worthy performances here. Really good movie and I'm very, very excited to rewatch it. We have two Blu-rays left here, and this next one is a film that I've never owned on Blu-ray before, just on DVD. I haven't seen it since the DVD back in 2006 or 7. I'm not entirely sure, so I am really looking forward to re-watching this animated film from Robert Zemeckis and Steven Spielberg, Monster House. Uh, Yeah, I can't really say much about it other than I remember liking it, and uh, I remember playing the PS2 video game uh a long 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 time ago so um yeah that's monster house and uh i'm excited to rewatch that one and finally a film that uh i do really enjoy and i will be upgrading this to a 4k steelbook this is a single disc uh blu-ray i will be changing it to a single disc 4k whenever i do get the 4k to this it is jj abrams star trek i have star trek into Darkness on 4K. This is more like a metal pack. I think that's what they call these. Um, it just looks a little different. I don't know. But um, still really nice. I only paid like $6 for this. So, yeah, that's the update, guys. Uh, and finally, we have this nice little Vapo inhaler. Um, if you inhale it, all your dreams uh, come true. But yeah, guys, comment your thoughts down below in the comments. What did you think about these titles? Uh, do you own any of them? Do you plan on picking any of them up? Uh, what did you think? We got a nice little stack here. So yeah, guys, that's been it for me. Like I said, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. and Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links to those are down in the description of this video. Uh, maybe uh, come on over and spend some time um, with us in the community every wednesday during quiggy wednesday live that's right we got a bunch of codes coming wednesday including two codes for freaky a couple other freaky things coming as well so guys again thank you so much for watching this one and until next time over and out